Hello and welcome to News Click. Today we have with us Advocate Rahul Chaudhary, who is a lawyer in the National Green Tribunal. He will be discussing with us the judgment NGT passed, which banned all protests around the Jantar Mantar area and shifted the venue to Ram Leela Maidan. So, first of all, what is your opinion on this judgment? Do you think the call NGT made is a right one? See, if you go into the technical aspect of the judgment, mm -hmm. like uh, it is a violation of this. Uh, rules which has made for the noise and all, mm. then it's a different aspect altogether. Mm. But if you see as a right, because even in the environmental aspect, the environmental rights which are there, which you have to protest and all, then the right to protest kind of are taken away by the NGT order. And that is that actually goes totally against your right of proper uh, expression also and raising the issue against the government altogether. So, so if we're focusing on the environmental aspect of it, like uh, on the noise pollution aspect of it, which has been cited by the NGT as the main reason for yeah. banning these protests. So, the in the area, in the Jantar Mantar area, there are about 60 residents. And it's not even a completely residential area. There are a lot of commercial yeah. buildings and everything. But now when we talk about the Ram Leela Maidan, it is way more densely populated. So, of course, there will be some sort like more impact over there, then uh, does it make sense to shift the venue to Ram Leela Maidan? What would be the sort of impact which would happen to the citizens over there of the noise and yeah, everything? That, that, is, that is one issue. But before that, if you see, uh, if the issue is only of the noise pollution, for example, noise coming from the temple, noise coming from other religious places or from some other institution with the, where, when they use a loud speaker, hmm. that is also an issue. Then you don't say that shift that a religious place to some other place where there are no resident or something. Mm -hmm. What direction could have been that you can keep the noise level to the level which is not uh, violating the norms which are passed by the government. Mm -hmm. Now here no such steps or they could have on a temporary basis also could have passed such judgment mm -hmm. or could have looked into the aspect that see that uh, these are the noise decibel level which you cannot exceed. And if protest there, but you meet the guideline which is there, the rules which provide like 65 decibel or 55 decibel, mm -hmm. whichever is the permissible level at that time. Mm -hmm. And yes, and the rightly said by you, like if you shift, it's just a shifting this problem to other part of the uh, city. To, and from this resident where one can say is, uh, if the person living near the Jantar Mantar can be affluent, to the some uh, other person who is uh, not that affluent in that area because in the Lam Rila Maidan area also the same problem yeah. because you have not gone into the issue of controlling that noise pollution rather you have just shifted the burden to some other person who would be living in around the area of the Ram Lila Maidan. And also so the, uh, you, uh, the Jantar Mantar area it's very close to the parliament and it's in Lutyens, Delhi. So it holds strategic importance as well for protesters because they get to be close to the parliament. So they are more, uh, they think that the, it's more likely that their voices will be heard by the government. Now, if you're shifting it to Ram Leela Maidan, which is so far from all these government offices, then isn't this a way of basically sort of silencing these voices and taking them away from the public view? See, this is, uh, for example, if uh, someone is protesting near the Jantar Mantar, it's not that uh, you shift him from the outskirts of Delhi, even Ram Leela Maidan, why don't then you shift him the outskirts of Delhi? If it is not just a protest as a symbol, man, because the protest location as a Jantar Mantar is a power center. Hmm. So, the, if uh, Narmada Bachao Andolan who are affected by the one of the environmental issue and if they are coming there, so, and they become the victim again, like you hmm. cannot raise the issue where you can be hurt. Hmm. Rather than shifting to Ram Leela Maidan, you say that you go and give some place in the uh, parliament only. Hmm. Because the voice which has to be heard, why you are giving them the land which is more further than the center of the power. You bring them closer to them. Yeah. If, if the person is so aggrieved and they have to protest, give them some space closer to the power center area where they can be heard and also they are far closer and then it will not be the issue of the person who are living in surrounding area of the uh, Jantar Mantar yeah. who are affected by that. This is it just seems to be following a trend basically. Even in other cities of India like I think in Hyderabad also and in a couple of other cities also these areas of dissent, areas where people can voice their opinions, they are being restricted. And now this has happened in Delhi too. So what 
how do people now protest? What do they do? How do they raise their voices? See, one is this, uh, the when we, this is, this order has been passed taking cover of the environmental aspect. Yeah. And when you talk about the everything, there is a one concept called the environmental democracy mm. kind of thing. Now, in the democracy, what would be the environmental democracy that you make a person part of the decision making process mm. or uh, uh, if the person is aggrieved by your any decision making process, then he can have right to further raise his voice. Mm. Now, rightly said, uh, raising his voice, then one is the going to the court, but the another is like the traditionally, which we have seen from many years, that directly approaching the persons who had the decision makers mm. to approach them and then put their grievances. Now, practically, it is not possible that you go in the parliament and then raise your voice or go to the Ministry of Environment, raise your voice. Mm -hmm. So that is the closed center where you can assemble. Mm -hmm. And other parts, like in the many places where these power centers are, those places are actually very influential areas, means affluent persons are living. Yeah. And over the period when that they think that they are making a, some kind of nuisance for them or you can say that they are causing a property value also going down because of all this. Hmm. So there may be some kind of resentment or which has been suppressed by the government. So uh, it's certainly happening not only the Delhi, maybe the one of this uh, recent uh, means that the victim of all this uh, operation which has been taken over by the government. And not only in the state, even if you see like this, when this government came to the power and then all this online thing which has been started that whoever is writing something and then police action is being taken against yeah, them. Yeah, yeah. So you started right from there where this government, the temperament of the government is to stop any kind of dissent. Hmm. So do you think there could be some political motivation behind See, this? See, one thing is uh, I cannot say because this, uh, this government and the police, they were not in favor of, I think, uh, loc uh, relocating or shifting because they were saying they have given the permission because earlier it was somewhere else mm. and because of the security reason that new place was given some time back. Uh, uh, it was in boat club. Uh, it was in somewhere in boat club and then the protest ground had been shifted because of the security reason. Okay. Now, uh, motivated by politics, that means that one cannot say that whether it was the judgment was motivated by the politics, but overall one can say that the judgment which has misjudged the issue with respect to where the people can protest and where the power center is located. But still, I mean, if we just look at the residents of the Jantar Mantar area, it's definitely true that they are facing some issues because of all the constant protests that go on. They are facing noise that they have to listen to like really loud speakers sometimes and then traffic issues, all of that, it happens to them. But then uh, what is a more reasonable compromise that we can come to? Because a blanket ban on protests in the Jantar Mantar area is, does not seem to be a very good solution, especially because it's not really dealing with the problem in a proper manner. Then what do you think should have been done instead or can be done instead? See, one thing, as I said earlier also, that they could have gone into a kind of thing controlling the noise level. I think that has also been uh, like there is some regulation no, which is there. But now the venue have already has been shifted. The direction mm. is to shift the venue. Mm. Now in that venue only they could have said that even if you are using the amplifier, it should be within the permissible limit of the noise pollution. Okay. Like this, and then person who was sleeping on, sleeping in Jantar Mantar or mm -hmm. this uh, littering of garbage and everything. Mm. So these are the things which can be regulated and it's not that you only have to stop this and then shift everything to the some other places. Because now they are saying the Ramlila Maidan, but government may say it's not possible Ramlila Maidan, you go somewhere else. Yeah, and also uh, that uh, now we know that even to protest in Ramlila Maidan, you have to book the area and the cost of that is 50,000 rupees per day. Yeah. Then now if there are farmers who are coming from Tamil Nadu to protest, yeah. how can they do it? I mean, they're protesting because they don't have money to feed themselves. How can they be expected to pay 50,000 rupees a day? just to make their voices heard. Yeah, that is, that is one aspect and another is that means you don't want anyone to hear because hmm. now from this uh, you have re and the person living there should also why they should then suffer if the the logic is that they are creating a noise pollution by use of amplifier and everything and then other issues which are concerned hmm. then 
it's not that the Ramlila Maidan is the open area where there no one is living surrounding that area. Mm. That area is also habitated and then there are lots of people who are living there. Mm. So they would be affected by that also if you apply that logic with respect to this uh, noise pollution which is being caused. Okay, thank you Rahul sir for your time and uh, thank you for watching News Click.